Watch my end result color be like the most disgusting, like puke green brown color. <laughs> Oh no, I take it back. I don't want to be a scientist anymore. Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. What do we think? I'm in my red era, Taylor's version, giving you red sweater, giving you red eyeliner, giving you red hot, passionate feelings towards hating Jake Gyllenhaal. Let's look at my eye look. Let's do that. That's something good to focus on. Check it out. I did this look using another one of my Glisten Cosmetics split line that they were so kind to send to me. This one is in the shade Red Velvet. I love this one, especially in my red era, like I was just saying. I promise I'm gonna do a video on these this week. It'll probably be Friday's video. I'm so excited. I've just been, I've been wanting to test them a little longer before I give like a thorough full review. So be on the lookout for that. Subscribe so you don't miss it. But yeah, I would love to know how you guys are enjoying Red Taylor's version, <laughs> or if you even like Taylor Swift. If you don't, just let me know how your day's going. I'd love to hear from you. But that's not what this video is about. You did not click on this video to find out that the 10 minute version of All Too Well literally destroyed me. No, you clicked on this video because you, like me, have an interest in a little makeup mixology and a little bit of makeup science and making some Franken makeup here today. That's right, baby, I'm mixing my makeup again. Today we are mixing together all of my lip glosses, which, oh my gosh, I am both so excited and so intimidated by this process because lip gloss is my biggest makeup category, but I've been waiting to do this video because I was waiting until I had an empty lip gloss receptacle to be able to fill. Because for some reason, when you look for those online, you have to buy like 50 of them. And I, what do I need with 50 empty lip gloss containers? So I finally finished my Tower 28 little mini jelly lip gloss. And this was the shade Fearless. You can see it's still got some purple on the sides, but I swear this is empty. Like I've been trying to scrape the sides because I love this shade. And you know what, even though there's a little bit of purple on the sides, that will be its contribution to the mix. I mean, this is a sheer gloss to begin with, but it's not gonna make the whole thing purple. But that's, I'm talking so much about the receptacle, but I know that you don't want to hear me talk about it. You want to see me get to mixing. So, if that sounds like a topic that is interesting to you and you want to see me mix all of my lip glosses together, then I encourage you to please subscribe because I do wacky stuff like this all the time. And keep on watching because it's coming at you right now. All right, so here's all of the lip glosses that I'm going to be mixing today. It's less than I thought, but I have to remind myself that I'm not including clear lip gloss because like that's boring. And also I'm not including any of my balms and tints, which although they have a glossy finish, they are not glosses and I just don't want to mess with the texture too much. But here are the categories I do have. You got my nudes, my berries, my mauves, my bolds, which are a mix of like corals, reds, and oranges. And then you have my sparklies, my sparkly duochrome shades and my sparkly regular shades. And then of course we got my little, my purple guy that's gonna be the, the base of everything. So here's what we're working with. We got one, two, three, 14 lip glosses going into one here. So I'm so excited to see how this turns out. All right, I got you super zoomed in here so you can see the satisfying scooping of glosses. I'm so freaking excited. Let's start out with my nudes. And let's start with my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. This is a super, super pale nude. Okay, oh, this scooping is gonna be harder than I thought. I'm just gonna scoop until I feel like there's an appropriate amount on here. What do we think? Does that look good? I feel like that looks like a good amount of product, at least to start. I think that's a good amount to start with. All right, now I'm gonna take the top of my Tower 28 gloss thing here, and I'm gonna try to scoop some of that to the bottom. All right, let's move on to another one of my glosses, my other NYX Better Gloss Nude. This is the shade Madeline. I'm gonna start moving right along here. We already know we're gonna need a bunch of scoops. Let's just get to scooping. Again, we're not counting. There is no method in this, only pure chaos. That is the fun of these videos. You don't come here to see me be super scientific. You come here to watch chaos ensue and see what the result is. You know, that's, that's the whole fun of my channel. This is a thick formula. I forgot how thick the NYX Butter Glosses are. 
gonna be a lot of this noise in this video. <laughs> All right, now for the next nude, we're gonna take my Pat McGrath gloss in the shade Dare to Bear. I love this nude, and this one pulls out a lot more product. I love this shade. It's a really pretty, like, pinky, palish nude, but it's got a beautiful golden sheen to it. Very excited to have this in my mix. Ooh, it's starting to drip down the sides. Can you see that? Ah, oh, so exciting. Okay, good. I think the more product we get in here, the easier it's gonna be to mix up, so I'm just gonna keep on trucking. All right, so that is it for the nudes. Full disclosure, I did just go ahead and do another round of each one because I could already tell there was not gonna be quite enough product in there, but here's our mix so far. You can see my nudes all together on the side. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's move into the next category, and that's a pretty small category. I thought I had way more shades in my berries and mauve section, but apparently a lot of those are lip balms, so let me know if you want to see me mix all my tinted balms all together because I got a million freaking tinted lip balms. I would love to do that. But for now, we're gonna do my berry glosses. The first one is another NYX Butter Gloss. This is the shade Devil's Food Cake. And this, I think, is really gonna affect the color because it's a deep, deep berry shade. It is so beautiful. All right, now we're mixing things up here. I found that a better strategy is to scoop it around the sides of the tube rather than all in one place because then you can kind of do one of these bad boys. You get a little bring it around town here, do a little swirl around, and then you hit them with one of these to like get it to go into the tube. If you guys were going to try this yourself with the exact same type of lip gloss applicator that I'm using, you know, that's relevant information for you. Okay, next gloss. So this is an e.l.f. lip lacquer. It is a lip gloss called a lip lacquer. It's a lip gloss, and this is the shade Wild Rose. I'll be honest with you guys, this is not my favorite formula. I've narrowly avoided decluttering this twice just because both times I went to declutter it. I wore it in the video I decluttered and then I was like, oh, but my lips look so pretty. So I didn't declutter it. But my issue with this gloss is that sometimes it can leave like a line on your lips. Like it does that, you know, that gross little line of demarcation on your lips where the lip gloss went on. If you guys have any recommendations for other drugstore mauve rose colors like this, let me know because I think this is such a beautiful color. But like I said, just not the greatest formula. Oh my gosh, look you guys. There's like some freaking lip gloss in here. Look, you can see them starting to like pile up on the sides. Oh, that's so exciting. I was afraid I still wasn't gonna have enough, but we are making good progress over here. So that is it for our purples and mops. The next category is a little bit bigger. We got my bolds, which are a mix of reds, corals, and one orange. So let's add those. All right, I'm gonna start with my Milk Makeup Electric Plumping Lip Gloss. I think that's gonna be so fun to have in here. This plumping gloss uses Sichuan pepper as the plumping agent. It's literally my favorite thing. I feel like I've screamed about this in quite quite a few videos, but I think this one's gonna be really easy to add because it's a squeezy tube and I need some easy right now. So let's just give it a big old squeeze. Ooh, ooh, it's getting everywhere. Oh, wow, okay. Hope I didn't add too much of that. It's gonna be a plumping gloss, but that's fine. I like this plumping gloss. Can you see it? It's like right in the tube there. Ah, it's so cool. Why is this so satisfying? Should I have been a scientist? This is fun. Yes, because I'm sure this is all scientists do. Oh no, oh, it's getting everywhere. Oh no, I take it back. I don't wanna be a scientist anymore. Oh, it smells like peppers now. It's gonna be such an interesting smell at the end because we're gonna have a mix of like the candy smell from the NYX Butter Glosses, the cream soda smell from the Pat McGrath Glosses, the pepper smell from my Milk Gloss. This is gonna be so wild. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna be adding my Oma by Sharon C. What's this called? The It's Complicated Lip Tint Oil and Gloss. So I actually wear this as a blush yesterday. It's a beautiful blush, but it is also a lip gloss. More of a lip stain in my opinion, but it does have a glossy finish. So I'm gonna add some of this as well. I'm gonna add a little less than this than the other ones because just to be honest, it's a stain and it really is way more pigmented than the rest of these and I don't want it to quite take over it. Look at how red that is, oh my gosh. Watch my end result color be like the most disgusting like puke green brown color. <laughs> no, it's good. I'm manifesting this. It's gonna be a really good color. I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna be wearing it every day and you guys are gonna wanna dupe. All right, so now let's go ahead and add my orange which is also from Tower 28. This is their jelly lip gloss in the shade Fire. I will admit mine is a bit more orange than if you were to buy this yourself because I like to wear this orange lip gloss over orange lipstick so that every time I apply it, it gets a little more orange in it. You know me, I love a bold gloss. I love this Tower 28 jelly gloss formula though. 
if every lip gloss could be this formula it truly feels like a lip mask it feels so so nice and they smell like buttered popcorn which is really fun and will also add to the fun scent of this mixed gloss my franken gloss oh it's getting so messy oh no it is really filling up the tube though which is very exciting to see like look at that it's hard to even see like through it anymore so it's definitely filling up which i'm thrilled about okay now moving on to the last gloss in my bolds category which is the nyx butter gloss in the shade sorbet how did a hair get in here i was so careful not to get any cat hairs in here and this is a beautiful like punchy coral kind of a cross between like a coral and a hot pink and we're mixing and we're mixing and we're mixing and we're all right how exciting we're moving on to our last category which is my sparkly glosses they're kind of a mix most of them are pink three out of four are pink one of them is a green peach duochrome so we'll see how that affects things let's start with the green peach duochrome it's from colored rain i used this on my live the other day and all of you guys who joined my live we're like wow that is such a cool gloss we love colored rain on this channel i love their lip products liquid lipsticks and glosses alike are both so good this is the shade tropical vibes i know it looks kind of boring it looks like it's just kind of like a peachy nude but it has a really pretty green reflect in it you can kind of see it with the light hitting it like this but it's a really beautiful greeny gold duochrome so we'll see how that affects this whole mixture this is gonna overflow am i gonna add too much gloss no it's fine I, it's fine i think i have plenty of room oh no i was worried i wouldn't have enough gloss now i'm worried i'm gonna have too much it's okay we only got a couple left okay now let's move on to my maybelline lifter gloss this is in the shade moon this is a good dupe for the fenty gloss bomb i love that about it it's also got a big thick applicator so i'm able to take big thick scoops which i love i also love the smell of this one this smells like i don't even know how to describe it, it smells like caramel it smells like very caramelly do you say caramel or caramel okay yeah good thing we're getting towards the end here because i'm running out of room okay next is my pat mcgrath gloss and this is in the shade pale fire nectar it is a beautiful like pinky peachy duochrome with flecks of gold in it it's really glittery too so it's gonna add a lot of glitter to my mixture which i'm excited about it's good glitter though it's not like big thick chunks of glitter that like hurt your lips to swipe on it's a good like finely milled glitter i'm so excited to see how these duochromes affect it though i feel like it's gonna look so cool on the lips we definitely have more sparkly than matte do we i'll compare at the end how many mattes versus sparkly shades we have in my lip gloss collection but i feel like the sparkly is definitely gonna overpower the mattes and we're gonna have a sparkly finish okay and then my last shade is my Midas Cosmetics icing lip gloss this is the shade strawberry icing it's honestly mostly a nude it pretty much shows up as a nude it's a very sheer shade but it packs a punch when it comes to sparkle there are so much sparkle in here and uh, yeah it's really beautiful it also smells like cake batter Ugh, I love lip gloss for the smells. I hate when a lip gloss doesn't have a scent. The e.l.f. gloss doesn't have a scent, and I will forgive them for that because it's $3, but honestly, e.l.f., you could improve that if you added a little vanilla. That would be so nice. So that was our last one. So this is my final big mix. Holy freaking moly, before I mix it all together, you can like see how much gloss is in here. <gasps> look how pretty it is. Oh my gosh, it's doing an ombre, just like my eye look. Oh, how fun. I almost don't want to mix it up because it looks so pretty, but obviously I'm going to because we got to mix all the colors together. I'm going to try to shake it. This is probably uh, a fool's errand, if you will, because I don't know if it's really going to shake up, but I'm certainly going to give it a try. And then I'm also going to go run it under some warm water to see if that like liquefies it a little bit more so I can mix it better. Okay, yeah. Actually, let me go do that now and then I'll come right back. All right, friends, so I went to the bathroom. I ran this under hot water for a minute and then I really shook it up. I pumped it like a million times. I really feel like this is blended to the best of my ability. Obviously, if I were a real scientist, I'd probably have some sort of cool mixing machine that I could put it into and it would mix it up and be perfect. But you look at it from the side and you can see the ombre has really gone away and it now looks like it's all this beautiful picky color. And frankly, I just can't wait another second before putting it on my lips. So let's give it a try. Should I swatch it on my hand first? Yeah, let's do a little swatch. Oh, okay. Okay, more sheer than I was expecting. Okay, but you can build it up. Ooh, it's really pretty. Oh my gosh. You know what it reminds me of? Sorry, I know I'm really building the suspense, but you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of my Franken blush that I made by mixing all of my powder blushes together and I have to swatch them next to each other because I'm like, wow, this could be like a great pairing. 
What? Are you kidding me? How did I create the exact same shade? That Freaky Grox, okay, it's not the exact same shade. It's definitely like a little peachier, a little deeper, but these are gonna look so pretty together. Oh my gosh, I haven't even tried it on my lips yet. Okay, let's put it on the lips now. All right, big moment, big suspense. Let's zoom in even more. Okay, big suspenseful moment here. Here is my Franken lip gloss. Oh, freaking wow, this formula is beautiful. Oh, that feels so buttery soft. Wow, I'm literally blown away. This is the nicest lip gloss texture I have ever felt. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, yeah, it is gonna look so pretty with this Franken blush I have. These colors look so good all mixed together. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can like see it with the look. I feel like I'm too zoomed in right now. But you know, definitely on the sheer side, for sure on the sheer side here. But let me take a look in my mirror. Yeah, it definitely has a sparkly finish, but it's kind of hard to detect. Like, I don't know if you could see that when I was super zoomed in. Can you even see the sparkles? It's giving sheen, but it's not giving a lot of sparkle, which I'm okay with. I like a little sparkle in my lip gloss, but this is nice. This is still giving me a nice shiny finish, which I love. Also, I didn't notice right away because it was delayed, but I'm definitely feeling a little bit of that plumping action from the Milk Electric Plumper Gloss here. It's subtle. It's definitely not as powerful as when I just wear the plumping gloss on its own, but I stopped filming for a second and I walked away and I was like, why do my lips feel like a little, you know, just like maybe like I ate something with cinnamon in it. Like it's just got a, a hint of spice. I don't think it's really doing any plumping action, but it is making my lips look super shiny and juicy and I love it. All right, friends. And I think with that, we have reached the end of the video. You saw my results here. We got the lip gloss on. I've been wearing it for like 30 minutes now and it still feels really, really nice. It got a little less shiny. I will say I did notice it got a little less shiny. So I'm going to reapply a little bit right now. Ugh, right back to shiny town. But I will say it didn't do that gross like line of demarcation thing that I was worried the elf gloss was gonna make it do. So that is a positive out of all of this. The good formulas outweighed the, the one subpar formula that was in there. And I gotta say, this was a freaking blast. I 10 out of 10 recommend you guys mix all your lip glosses together, but I'm loving my end result. I'm gonna be wearing this all the time. It made way more than I thought it did. I guess I did some pretty big scoops. So I'm excited to be using this over the next couple of months. I don't know, maybe it'll even last longer than that. I had these Tower 28 lip glosses for quite a long time despite their small size, but I'm very excited to be getting some more use out of my lip glosses. You know, the great thing about these Franken makeup videos is that I get to use all of my products at once. You know, it's hard to hit pan on products, it's hard to finish products, so it's very satisfying to be like, I'm using every single product all at once every time I use this. Oh, it's so satisfying, I love it so much. But I thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That lets YouTube know to recommend this video to other people who might like it, like yourself. And I'd love to have you subscribe. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. On Wednesdays, I live stream at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh my gosh, we have such a freaking blast on live stream. I love my live stream crew. I love my crew who watches the replays. I love all of you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my description box for all of the makeup on my face today. I'll also include all of the lip glosses that I mixed together in my Franken lip gloss, so check out that description box. Also in my description box, I will have a bunch of Black Lives Matter resources, resources to support the Asian American community, and resources to support the LGBTQ plus community. So please click on those links if you haven't yet. And I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!